Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new, my name is Ruby and today I've got a video which I don't have very often which is a clothing haul video. I've tried to cut back on the shopping massively. I used to do so much shopping on like fast fashion websites and I don't do it as often anymore because I'm trying to be a lot more conscious about my spending and shopping habits but um, it's I tend to kind of do like one shop per new season if that makes sense so like I did quite a big shop in the summer and now it's like an autumn winter vibe I'm doing another haul and for some reason I've really been enjoying pretty little thing lately so today's haul is pretty little thing I'm just gonna get straight into it I'm gonna give you the price the size and I'm gonna try on everything as well so you can see um, there are some funny mistakes that I did make in this haul. I got some really cool coats. So I got this puffer jacket and I absolutely adore it. I know it's quite, what's the word? It's quite, um, it's a loud jacket. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not subtle by any means, but I absolutely love the color. And normally I don't really go for red, but I think this is just kind of cool and edgy and it's gonna look really good with blue jeans so i got this and i got it in a size 10 and it was 30 pounds i absolutely adore it i just think i love the style i love this sort of length this cropped and um it's really comfortable as well i've tried it on already and i know it's not going to be the sort of thing that you wear like with every outfit but i think it goes really well with blue jeans and i wear that quite a lot and sometimes you know like when you've got a cute outfit and then you put your coat on and then it just feels like you've doled the whole outfit down. I feel like this is a coat where like the coat is the outfit. It's like the statement piece, which I love because then it's kind of like, you know, it's like a fashion statement, isn't it? So absolutely adore this. Um, and it was £30. And then, of course, I did still really like the shape. So I got it in black as well because I thought the black is gonna be so cute for just like those like more casual days when you're just going for like a nice walk and you've got your leggings on and you've got your like nice socks and nice like trainers. I really just think these look really cute at the moment and I've seen them a lot on um, like a lot of girls' Instagrams and stuff. So um, again, I got it in a size um, 10 and it was 30 pounds. Next up, I got this top, which I am regretting. I'll try it on so you can see, but I don't know it just looked really cool on the picture it's really hard to see here because it's it's like a twisted top um it was on sale it, it was only six pounds on sale but it's one of the molly may collection and i just really loved the color it's like this forest green color which i really like at the moment but it's just not right for me i think i think you probably need to have like quite small boobs for it to work i don't know I can't see how it looks very good so I will try it on for you but I was thinking it could be a nice option for like Christmas day um, like a nice cute little top you just want to wear something comfy but festive but I think I'm gonna send that back talking of Christmas day um, I have started to think about my like my tablescape if you will for Christmas which is I want to go with like quite natural forest green and maybe like a little bit of gold and silver for my colour scheme. I, I want to not really do any red, um, I want to do more green. And I found these really lovely candlesticks um, and they are like different shades of green. And I was going to get some nice like bronzy gold um, candlestick holders and then put that as like a centrepiece for my Christmas table. They were £7. Okay, this is where I made a huge mistake. I'm not even gonna bother to try these on for you because I bought a pair of trousers in extra long length. Can you believe that? I'm literally five foot three, max. So they're so cute. They're like these really cute um, white jeans with like brown stitching and they look really good on the model. But I just totally missed that they were long leg um, and that's just not going to work at all for me. I mean, I am so short. And I think as well, because they're long length, they're size 10, but they were really big on the waist as well. So I think they're just bigger in general. Um, and it wasn't like that kind of meant to be baggy look. They were just really baggy, like around my, like everything, crotch, waist. Um, so, and I know I've been on a diet, but I'm not that small. <laughs> so I think they're just generally a terrible mistake. So I'm definitely gonna send them back but they are so cute they look really good on the model 
um, and they were £18. Okay, next up, actually something that did come and is lovely is I got this um, lovely like one shoulder chocolate brown top. I have already got like a chocolate brown crop top but I think I literally wore it to death last um, Christmas and last winter, autumn winter. So I was like let's get yourself a new one <laughs> um, because I've worn it to death. I think I've just, everyone's gonna be like oh god here she is in that top again. And the straps have got, come a bit loose. So um, I really like this. I got this in a size eight and it was eight pounds. And that I just, this I just think is the perfect way to still wear like cute crop tops in the winter time because you can wear them with like high waisted, like kind of baggy jeans and then like a nice coat. And then it's like, it still feels like autumn winter vibes, but it's not necessarily summery because of the color. So I really like this, um, especially with jeans. So I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this, I think. Next up, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these jeans. I'm gonna have to get you guys to let me know, but I am one of those people that buys jeans a lot because I'm always on the hunt for the best jeans and I never ever find them. I feel like a lot of people do this. It's like they have an obsession with buying jeans because they think it's gonna be like that perfect pair of jeans, when in fact, you probably already got them in the wardrobe. Um, I am a, a serial jeans buyer. It's just one of my, I'm always looking for jeans. If I see someone with cute jeans online, I immediately look them up and I'm like, oh, I really like those. But I probably got a pair just the same in the wardrobe, but I really like these. These are like kind of super baggy light wash. And I've got a pair of light wash jeans, but they don't have, um, but they've got quite a lot of rips in them. And I thought, cause these don't have any rips, but they've got this kind of like side slit, which I think is cute. But then my issue, is they're quite long. So I think I'm gonna only be able to wear these with a heel. And in reality, how often do I wear jeans with heels? Not that not that often really, like unless I'm going on like a night out. Um, normally I'll be wearing trainers or boots. And I think we all sometimes trick ourselves into thinking we're like Kim Kardashian, who genuinely would be wearing jeans and heels on a daily basis. But I'm like, I would never wear that realistically i'm not going to go to like the, the co-op in like these jeans and a pair of stilettos like it's it's just not going to happen <laughs> um whereas i do i do think that some celebrities would be wearing that on a daily basis so in that way i think i shouldn't probably hold on to these because they're not that versatile because i cannot really wear them with trainers so let me know what you you think um size 10 and they're petite as well but they're so long i'm like why are they so long? The girl on the picture that she's wearing heels. Yeah, so they were £22.50. Anyway, next up, I got this absolutely gorgeous chocolate brown dress, um, which is not really like something I would never wear, like mini dresses anymore. Like I'm 29 in a month, and like I just feel like I'm not really wearing these dresses, but I have this bottomless brunch that I'm going to, and uh, we all said that we would get, get quite dressy for it. Um, so my plan is I'm gonna wear this with knee-high like camel boots and then like a nice like white furry coat. So it's like dressy but like wintry vibes as well. Um, but like I wouldn't, I'm not at that stage of life really where I'm wearing just like slinky dresses like this. I, I don't like go clubbing anymore or anything like that. But actually I think with like the, the camel boots and the fur coat I think it's quite cute but yeah we did say we were gonna get dressed up. Um, and then I did also buy this second dress option, which I was potentially going to wear for the bottomless brunch, but I think it's a little bit too summery. It's really cute. It's, oh, did I say how much that dress was? So I got the chocolate dress, another Molly May one. I got that in a size 10. It actually feels quite small for a size 10. And, um, I don't know if Pretty Little Thing runs on the small side, maybe, I don't know. But that was £12 and it's from the Molly May collection as well. Um, I'll try and link everything below. Um, but this dress here is like a linen type fabric. So I do think it's gonna be really nice in the summertime for like summer parties because it's gonna be quite breathable. Um, again, another Molly May. I must like her fashion stuff on Pretty Little Thing. Um, so this is a size eight actually, and I got it in, it's, it's called Oatmeal. The color is called Oatmeal and it's a bodycon drape dress. It was 16 pounds, 
but I really like it. It's just, and it's got this nice like long flowing kind of strap thing. And I think it looks really cute with my um, knee high gray boots that my mum gave me. So that's everything that I got in the haul. Um, please do let me know if you enjoyed it. And I know I don't do that many clothing hauls that regularly because I just don't do that much shopping. <laughs> But please do let me know if you enjoyed it and I will try my best to carry on filming any shopping that I do I will definitely film it. But yeah Everything I got from pretty little thing and please do follow me and subscribe and um, I've got some really cool videos coming up soon. I'm gonna do some really awesome content for you So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next video